All right, so Coach Olds, this is your first time winning the award, correct? Correct, very first time. And I know that you've been uh, the FAVC Coach of the Year several times. Yes. What's the difference between these two awards? How big is it? Well, you know, the first one that the FAVC's voted on just the coaches in the league, and this one's voted on by the AP riders across the whole entire state of Ohio. And I'm sharing this award with one other coach from Northern Ohio, I don't know, but you know, that's out of, uh, you know, about 180 coaches. So to be picked out of 180 coaches, that's a pretty big thrill. And, uh, and because it's Associated Press, it's not a popularity contest, and it's not always on what you've done this particular. I think it's more of an award that's reflective of, of my whole career here at King. So it means a lot. Out of the uh, 100 victories that you've had, mm -hmm. is there any one that defines you as a coach and shows <laughs> why you would uh, – be suited for this award? Uh, you know what? It's sad to say, but we probably, I probably remember the team, the games I lost more than our teams that we win, but I think more than anything, I remember the kids, you know, and so to answer your question, there's not really one game that really defines my career or anything we've done, so um, yeah, that's a real, real tough question, but I just, I, I enjoy working with young people. We've got a great situation at Kings, and I enjoy working with my staff. In Dayton, you're playing Trotwood. This is obviously we're going for revenge. We're going for a state this time. Yeah. What was the feeling going yeah. into that game? Well, the feeling going into that game was, you know, on paper, you know, they've got 11 kids with um, BCS scholarships. So that's a real, real hard to do. I mean, I've only had one in 27 years of my entire coaching career. They've got 11 on one team. So um, on paper, we shouldn't even had a chance. But, you know, I tried to tell our players, and they believe me, as well as the coaches and hopefully the community, that it's about the best team. It's not about the team with the best players, but it's about the players on the best team. And I knew we had the best team in the first half. We just, it was domination. I mean, we dominated those guys like they haven't been dominated all year long. Probably in two years they've never seen a score like that. So uh, just a shame that didn't end the way we'd like it to. But, you know, we didn't play great in the second half, but they had a lot to do with it because they're a real good team. So we, we think they're going to go on and win the state championship uh, this coming Friday. Now, in all your years of college, or not college, high school football, yeah. when was the first year you started at Kings? The first year I started at Kings was 1991. But my first year at coaching was actually in 1981 when I was, uh, I took a year off of college. And I thought I was going to just work in a factory. And I didn't think college was going to be for me. So I coached junior high football. And I was 18 years old. And then after that year of working in a factory, thinking I had reached my pinnacle of my career, I realized that I didn't want to spend the rest of my life in a factory. Went on and played in college. And I started in 1985 at a small school called Madison Plains outside of Columbus. Then I came to Kings in 1991. And I, I've been at Kings since 91. And then 1998, I uh, became a head coach here at Kings. With your class this year of 2011, the seniors, you got some great yeah. players like yeah. Brady Vanover and especially a great leader, Max DeMumrum. Yeah. How does this class rank compared to any of your other ones? Yeah. I would say this class, uh, this class along with the 2002 class, you have to be real careful because you start comparing classes and guys get their feelings hurt. But as far as players, integrity, and academics, and just overall good football players. I'd say this class is right up there with the 2002 class. Uh, just sheer, just because of sheer numbers. And then of course you throw in the talent part and the, the character part and the guys are really, really good. I think we've got, I don't know, we probably have 15 kids with 4.0s on our team. So uh, not only are good players, but they're good, really good in the classroom. That is great. I'm happy to hear that. Yep. Uh, also, when the guys go out on the field, you can tell that they're out there to have fun. They're yeah. out there to win, but at the same time, it's all about having fun. What What do you put in their minds before a game? Well, I think I think you have to remind them to have fun. I mean, I think that might have been one of the last things I said before we went out and played against Troutwood. Told them to go out there, take a big, deep breath, and look around the stadium and see how many people there and enjoy it. You know, that's the fun part of it. And realize that, you know, this is still a game played by a bunch of 17 and 18 year olds coached by a bunch of guys who still want to play football but can't. It's still a game, but at the same time, uh, when you invest yourself that much, um, the stakes are pretty high and you want to you want to win. So, as a coaching staff, throughout the year, we plan things specifically to break the monotony of football. One night we'll go bowling. Uh, another night, uh, you know, we'll have a cookout. 
um, you know, different things. We, we surprise the guys a lot of times. So we try to keep it as fun as we can. You've been here for now. This is, would be your 20th season then at Kings. Right. What has kept you at Kings football so long? What is the best That's thing right. about Kings football? Well, I think the biggest thing is probably some the support from the community, you know, and the fact that you, you know what you're getting every year. You're getting a certain type of kid and you're getting a certain type of support from parents. And in our school district, whether we're academically, you know, we're, we're pretty focused academically, but they also know that sports plays a big role. And, uh, and they, they take us pretty good. They take care of us pretty good. The, the pay's not great, but no high school coach gets paid a lot of money. But uh, they've been very nice and supportive, and I, and I appreciate that very much. All right, well, we thank you very much for your time. You're welcome, man. If you guys want to check out the story, it's on Night Times, uh, my sports column. Check it out. Mr. Alt, again, thank you very much for your time. All right, thank you. Nice job.